as you can see that we'll be discussing Galilean transformation equations uh, if you're wondering what these things are here these are clocks I know I'm not a okay so these are clocks now uh, we'll be discussing Galilean transformation equations now first of all let me tell you what is going on right here so we have two systems two 3d systems with inbuilt clock in them we have s here and we have s dash here and s dash is moving at a velocity v with respect to system s but it has no acceleration so a of s dash is equal to 0 is equal to a of s so there, this is an inertial system this is inertial frame of reference all right now so um, yes uh, this is uh, moving with velocity v and um, okay so Galilean transformation equations we have to derive uh, formulas relating uh, uh, physical quantities in system s dash and s so let's begin by distance now if we have to measure uh, the distance uh, so first of all let us assume a point p p dash so we have a point p dash in system s dash which has coordinate x dash comma y dash comma z dash similarly we have a point p in system s and which has a coordinate x comma y comma z relating these two coordinates these two coordinates and these two coordinates is what consists of galilean transformation equations with this is valid only these Galilean transformation equations are valid only when the velocity when the velocity of system s dash with respect to s is very very less than the speed of light but that's another thing okay so uh, yeah let's begin relating x dash and x so we know that the distance from the origin to the point p dash is given by x and the distance from the origin of system s dash to point p dash is given by x dash relating to is very easy if you see that the o p dash minus v t is equal to o dash p dash if you see this o p dash minus v t is equal to o dash p dash this is our equation one now o p dash can be written as let me change the color can be written as x and vt can be written as only vt and o dash p dash can be written as x dash so we have x dash sorry we have x dash is equal to x minus vt so this is the relation between the dist and the distance in the x direction in both the 3d systems so this is a Galilean transformation Galilean transformation equation transformation equation this is a Galilean transformation equation all right now relating y and y dash since there is no movement of uh, plane uh, of system s dash in y axis or uh, y dash axis or system s in y axis we're going to write y or uh, y dash is equal to y this is equation 2 of Galilean transformation equation same goes with z axis or z axis whatever you like to call there's no moment in that direction so this z dash is equal to z this is again Galilean transformation equations now we are forgetting time time is a very important aspect so time t dash is equal to t this is also true now I have to tell you that um, there are uh, two postulates of spatial theory of relativity and I will also tell you why Galilean transformation equation fails when the velocity of s dash with respect to s is comparable with the speed of light with the speed of light I'm not saying that it is greater than the speed of light I'm saying comparable which means 0.6 C or 0.7 C or 0.5 C which is 50% of C or something like that okay I'm just saying that V s dash s is not very small compared to C all right so uh, let me erase all of that uh, I think we are clear with the Galilean transformation equations what uh, uh, Galilean transformation equations and uh, now we'll be moving on to uh, spatial theory of relativity postulates and why Galilean transformation equation fails and why uh, and why Lorentz transformation equations are used all right so let me erase all that and we are gonna 
we are going to discuss the postulates postulates of uh, spatial theory of relativity spatial theory of relativity i mean there are two postulates but those two are very important relativity uh, the postulate number one p1 i'm going to call it postulate number one is that all the laws of physics all the laws of physics physics are same are same in all inertial inertial frame of reference frame of reference and postulate number two goes as follows that the speed of light speed of light which we know as c remains remains same in all inertial frame of reference now these are really very important if you're new to uh, theory of relativity then these are really very important and uh, as we all know that spatial theory of relativity deals with only uh, uh, inertial frame of references this is really very important for first timers the speed of light remains same in all inertial frame of references all right so I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna do some calculations uh, here, and uh, these are important calculations. So pay attention. Uh, I have got Lorentz transformation equation in x direction as x dash is equal to x minus v t. This is my first equation. I'll be differentiating one with respect to time, and what do I get? Well, d by dt of x dash is equal to d by dt of x minus vt well we get vx dash is equal to dx by dx by dt minus v all right changing the color we have vx dash equals to vx minus v this is the relationship between the velocities now I'll be differentiating, I'm sorry, this is number two. Now I'll be differentiating two with respect to time again. And what do I get? Well, this V here, keep in mind, this is constant. Okay, so differentiating two again with respect to time, we get d by dt of vx dash is equal to d by dt of vx minus v since this is a constant what we are going to get is ax dash is equal to ax now what are these quantities namely vx dash vx ax dash ax so these are the acceleration of uh, anything in x direction the velocity of anything in x direction with uh, in different uh, 3D systems, namely S and S dash that I have defined in the beginning. So these are that. Okay. Now what I'm trying to prove is that why Galilean transformation equations are um, have failed uh, and why do we need Lorentz transformation equations when the velocity of S dash with respect to S is uh, comparable to comparable to uh, the velocity of uh, the speed of light. Comparable to c which is the speed of light all right so let's do that now if we use equation number two i'm going to change color again and if we use uh, equation number two then we see that vx dash is equal to vx minus v now if we equate now if we equate vx dash equals to vx equals to c what happens is that equation number two becomes c is equal to c minus v which is false which is false i mean as you can see c cannot be equal to c minus v this is not uh, correct here galilean transformation equation fails and here comes in picture the lorentz transformation equation so this is what i was trying to tell you Galilean transformation equation fails here and we have to use Lorentz transformation equation I Now I'm able to write this thing here vx dash is equal to vx is equal to c because remember the second postulate of uh, spatial theory of relativity that 
postulate says that the speed of light is same in all inertial frame of reference and that is why the speed of light is same in s and s dash and hence i'm able to write this thing here in case you're wondering i have added this uh, i think this should clear all your doubts uh, this thing here is important so thank you for watching